late at all. You can't be late for us. This is, this is the historical group, uh, yes. this president, you know French right. Wangle. Yes. We have a mutual friend in Davenport, the Palmers. Oh, for heaven's sakes, yes. Dave and BJ. My former employers. Right, and then uh, you and I had lunch together with Ralph Evans once in Des Moines. Yes. Or Des Moines. Yeah. Yes. All gone. Too bad. I know. Mr. President, uh, this is the what we want to present to you. It is uh, the, the 250th anniversary of George Washington, of course. And on the back of this particular medal is the Great Seal of the United States. This is the 200th anniversary of that. And uh, so uh, uh, the medal commemorates both, uh, both uh, uh, anniversaries. Uh, we thought it was appropriate that you get the first one that was minted. And, and uh, we're very well, pleased to be able to present it to you. I'm very proud and happy to, to have that. Uh, I wasn't so happy about his birthday at midnight last night when they started the fireworks just after I'd been asleep for about half an hour. I hadn't anticipated that. Did you know that? I don't believe they I consulted George about that. that. I, Why did they wait to midnight? I don't know. It was a but incidentally, sheer perversity. That seal, that seal there, uh, you know, well, this, the whole seal was uh, designed by an Irishman named Thompson. That's right. And uh, there's quite an explanation. Yes, there is. Of the meaning of all of those yes, it is. symbols in there. Uh, Mr. President, when you can't sleep tonight, here's something to read that'll tell you all about the, uh, all about the... Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to present this just the beginning. Well, I thank you very much. <laughs> we also want to present to you the, this publication, We the People. It's our principal publication of the United States Capitol Historical Society. And uh, we have printed five million of these books uh, we have 4,600,000 sold, and we have 400,000 sale this year. But this is like another. But this is how we uh, finance the work of this nonprofit society. The um, Library of Congress tells us that uh, that's the largest number of history books sold in a single history book in all time. Well, unless, you unless, unless you consider the Bible uh, yeah, history book yeah. also, but it has some other. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, those, you know that lady. Oh, I sure do, and E.J. But we wrote the text for this record, and she would be thrilled to death if you could give her a letter, I think. No. Oh, I shall write to her, yes. We've got to go, Mr. President. You're yeah. under great All pressure right. of time. I'll thank you so much for receiving us yeah. and for We're letting us present here. these things thank to you. Well, okay. thank you. Nice thank to see you, you again. Very much. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll show you. I got a good one done today, too. <laughs> you did that today? Yes, yes, during the discussion. I, I, I have a lot of fun. You know, I have a lot of fun with this thing. It's a concentration aid. Well, for heaven's sake, me and my cartoons. Uh, well, your cartoons are great. Yes, but those, those are doodles. That's not a doodle. Thank you. I'll let you know. Okay. President, this is Commander Donald Russell. Yes, sir. Hello. Nice there. to see you. Well, nice to see you, yes, Mr. President. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to Morgan Luke, our executive officer. Nice to see you. I do, Mr. President. Hello. What do you mean? Mr. President. How do you, you do? I'm uh, our program director, also editor of our newspaper. I think these gentlemen probably like that if you all get in here closer. Uh, maybe I ought to get in the middle of something in there. That's great. Yeah. Then we can. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm most grateful to you for. Uh, I know that I was supposed to be on hand some months, months ago, and the funny thing happened to me. <laughs> me. <laughs> but uh, I am grateful, I'm very honored by this, but I'm also honored. And, Grateful for all the support and help that your organization has given to us in so many things, including the defense uh, program, which uh, uh, we've just been having. Just been having a meeting with some members of Congress, and uh, we just haven't done a job out there explaining to the people the need. They don't realize the desperate situation that we're in, and uh, I've recently had a briefing which. Was the most, I told Nancy when I went upstairs, the most sobering thing that's happened to me since I've been here. Everything on the opposition, on the sophistication of their program, as well as the quantity of it. And anyone that would see that would, 
I think we're moving for is to increase the defense spending. But we're going to stay with it. We appreciate having your support. Thank you. I'm very proud to have this. I appreciate it very much from all of you and from all of my fellow members. Rest assured of our continued support. Thank you. Thank you very much. This platform. It was a very proud day for us. Let's get it. Bob, do you have that stuff? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So you go over and go upstairs. You've been inducted into the Emo Bourbon Society? The Cubs? Yes, yes, I'll have you. You know the rules, though. You cannot decline. Adrian, which on a day like this ought to be. this talk that started even before it went into effect, yes. but even now, a few months later, to say as if, well, the program has been tried and failed. I'll do for 83, 84, and 85, but nothing that's being proposed is responsive to a recession. And they pretend it is. I don't see what they're talking about. I happen to believe we're undertaxed. I don't think we can. I know you do. I told these fellows this morning, I reminded them, George, all over the country in the campaign, I get, and I always, as you know, like to do Q&A with an audience when I'm campaigning, inevitably I'd get a question. Well, if you come to a choice between the defense buildup that you want and balancing the budget, uh, and you can't have both, which will you do? And I said, national defense. Yeah. I said, that has to be the first priority. And every time I ever said it, I got a storm of applause. And people agreed. 1972, when I was I was working in the Senate for a Republican, Gordon Allen of Colorado, and people would ask me, who are you for for president? And I said, I was for Scoop Jackson. And they said, well, he's a liberal Democrat who will ruin the economy. And I said, they'll all ruin the economy. <laughs> but, uh, but Scoop is right on the Russians. And Scoop, yeah. I always had one line that he used when people said we can't afford it because we needed more welfare spending. Yeah. He said, my parents came from Norway and Norway had the finest welfare state in Europe when the Nazis marched in. Didn't do them any good. And it was a very telling line. Yeah. 
Yeah. Greatly honored that the Prime Minister would send a trusted close friend here to discuss the problems that we face. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. First of all, I would very much like, like to thank you for taking th this time out of your busy schedule to meet with us. And furthermore, Mr. Suzuki, has, on top of the message, has mentioned, asked me to convey his uh, wish that uh, he scheduled in June in Paris. One hour in length and better than missing. Be a, uh, oh, story. I guess that's another film. <laughs> oh yes, that was the. Oh yeah, that was the film that was based on the Chilean. Oh, I see. That's right. Sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good movie, yeah. but. <laughs> assertion that the United States is not considered internationally as a reliable supplier of agricultural products and